When we first started, we had a small area within the yard. We didn't have all this, this land space. We started off with one little forklift. We had about three cranes. Let me say about two cherry pickers that we start our first project with. The vision back then was really primarily focused on the, the offshore industry, offshore platform construction. During our first eight years of operations or nine years of operations, we are successfully completed decks and jackets for various operators in Trinidad and Tobago, five of which were for BPTT, two for EOG, and one for BG, which is now Shell. So our prime focus was on greenfield, new build platform construction, and now we've been able to diversify the services in both brownfield maintenance work and greenfield new build. When we was awarded the Juniper project, everybody here was really proud. The project magnitude was a little over 5,000 short ton. This was basically one of the biggest projects in Trinidad. We did the construction from ground base where we did all the civil works. That's the piling to ensure that the platform could be sustained onto. Then from there, we did all the prefabrication structural from the legs go up to the finish and also we did all the piping and equipment installation. Some of the milestones were when we actually started to elevate the decks, seeing that we had the cellar deck, all the decks were built separate, and when we started to stack the decks on top, and then on the piping side, when we started to actually do all the hydro testing on the systems and actually handing it over to BP commissioning team, that was like a real a big accomplishment for us. A project this size, we had a lot of outside training in terms for the, the riggers. They needed to have a certain level to, to work on the project. Painters, they did some training. Fabricators, we did supervision training. So it was basically an upgrade in the status of all the employees. For the future, we see ourselves becoming sustainable in the offshore, or we are already sustainable in the offshore industry. We are looking for opportunities for other platform constructions that might be existing. We are also looking for other opportunities within the region that might be available to us, as well as being present in maintenance works offshore. So now that we have the complement of the workforce that can satisfy both industries, we are definitely going after all that's out there. I am proud to be working Topco and proud to be a part of this Chinapa project. I think it is a great, great achievement. Trinidad and Tobago should be proud of we could accomplish something like this. The most important thing is the push, the drive and the commitment towards local content. And apart from being Be Your Brother's Keeper, we've also wanted to continuously support local content and this story speaks for itself. <laughs> <laughs>